Let's see what we can do. We have the potato peeler and <laughs> we have heartbreak and a blind curse. Oh, wow. <laughs> and easily one of my favorite items in the entire game. With a lot of starting damage, too. Oh, courtesy of heartbreak, of course. But yeah, this looks nice. Uh, this could be the next meat army run. Absolutely. With a starting item like this. Oh, God. Um, with a starting item like this, this could absolutely be the uh, next run of the, the meat army variety. Uh, especially considering we also have heartbreak. What does that one do again? Clear room has a 25% chance to spawn a friendly bony. I think I'll take a floor spike immunity. Thank you very much. Unlike what you think, Floor Spike Immunity does not actually get you into um, the Curse Room for free. So we can't do that. Actually, you know what? I'm feeling I'm feeling frisky. Bad trip. All right, and that settles that. I'm never taking a pill ever again. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> All right. All right. In the early rebirth days, this could have potentially been a death sentence. Not necessarily because these guys were harder back then, but because we weren't as used to them. Synth oil. Okay, great find. Would have preferred a health up. Oh, boy. <sighs> Okay, I need, I need no champions game, no champions, no champions. Oh no, and not a room like this either. Uh, am I actually gonna lose to the run, the run to a bad triple? Really? Come on. Okay, easy room. No key. There's a chain. Oh, the tin rock. Ah. Please, for the love of Christ, be a soul heart. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And a key to go into the item room. Jesus. That is cool and all, but. I think I'd rather keep the peeler. Even though, um... After that scare, very low chance I'm instantly gonna pop a, a red heart with that potato peeler as soon as I find it. I still want to keep it. Because it's just an item that... You know, it just pops off. It snowballs really fast. Once you actually get some health going. The secret room is probably diagonally above me, right? Okay, there's another key. If I had more money, I would absolutely go into that store and look for a soul heart. It's it's to my right, right? Wait, what is this? Is it you or does the game's gamma change constantly? I'm not seeing anything. Uh, try refreshing the stream, maybe? I don't see any errors in my OBS right now, either. So I kind of want to say it, it's on your end, but... The, the fact that only you seem to be experiencing it supports that theory as well. <clears throat> Still need to destroy these. There could be a soul heart in there or even like a petrified poop or something would be great. Super secret? No? Really? All right, little horn. That's an easy peasy one as well with what we have, which is chocolate milk and 6.5 damage. I mean, chocolate milk and 6.5 damage really does wonders for an early run, for an early game. That That's great. That's fantastic. Uh, I'm going to go back for that other heart. 
Actually, you know what? I don't usually do that, but I'm gonna go for the Rotten Heart. Oh, you know what I can do? I can use the... The full heart I have here to go to the curse room. And then take the Rotten Heart with me. And I sincerely hope that this is not gonna be a teleport to the Devil Deal, which it's just gonna be completely useless. Can you... can you potato peeler the bone heart? I don't think you can, right? Oh. Okay, we're good. Refreshed it looks consistent right now. All right. Oh, how is... how is the one pill I pop? Immediately bad trip. That was just unnecessarily stressful. Seriously do not need that kind of stress in my life right now. Oh. Okay, at least it's not the one with the spikes in the middle. Careful. Lucky Tau. Uh, I'll go for... I'll go for that, sure. Probably not gonna use two of my four keys for the dice room, because honestly, I already had enough this run of random events. Yeah, hey, let's peep inside. Maybe it's it's something useful. Three room. Rerolls all pickups and trinkets on the entire floor. Err. I might be back if I don't forget about you. Which I probably will. Now I gotta approach every pickup with the mentality of do I want that or do I want to reroll that as well. Plans actually do my taxes. Yeah, I mean, I commend the responsible adulting. Potential employers. Oh, wishing you the best of luck then with your potential employer. Able. Hmm. I hope you find the employment that you desire. Uh, let me use that. Let me also get rid of that because that can go badly. What do we got? Nope. <clears throat> uh, that's a lucky Benny. No complaints here. Mm. I tried. Bro! Like, I figured bad trip is taken care of. Maybe we can give them another chance. Yeah, that's what I get. Dream catcher. I'll take a dream catcher, sure. And I guess we're gonna blow up this guy for a higher devil deal chance. Probs, did you know you have a walking stick in the shape of a letter? It becomes magic. No, what? That gonna be that gonna be a pun? That's totally gonna be a pun, right? No, I wanna take damage from this guy. Come on, he does a full heart of contact damage. You do gotta be a bit careful, at least. It becomes arcane. Oh. Rib of greed. Nah. And we're gonna get a meat cube and damage. Urs of the maze. Can you still get mazed into boss challenge rooms? Because it might be worth it to run up and down all the time above that boss challenge room to try and get mazed in there. But then again, it is a boss rush run. So we are on somewhat of a strict timer. Okay, what was that? Chariot! Also forgot to use the dice room now that I'm thinking about it on the last floor, but come on, that was like three pickups or so. That would have been rerolled, so... 
Can't you get mazed anymore? You can only get mazed into unexplored rooms as of repentance, yes. I'll take Ares. That's going to give me some of my move speed back. Yeah, rooms can still shuffle around because that's definitely a fun mechanic that we need more of. I would say at this point the run feels pretty stable. You know, with all that damage we've amassed at this point. It's looking good. Ugh. Ingram's here, right? Abel, no! Oh, that was close. Is that worth it? I'm not sure. Uh, we gotta up the angel chance. It's not a Mega Satan run, so I don't need to make sure I can bomb an angel either, so. We can just use the last bomb. There! You can. I'll give you one more chance. One more! What was that saying? When it rains, it pours? Nice. But probs, you should take pills. They're fun and they're totally good most of the time. No. Speak for yourself, peasant. <laughs> pills are my kryptonite, man, I swear. Was that a bad pill though? Yeah, I already cleared most of the floor. I mean, it wasn't a good pill. Okay, I just confirmed that I cannot use the potato peeler to uh, potato peel the bone heart. I don't have callus anymore, so I can't get that. Polycephalus. All right, there's the Jesus Juice, there's the Spear of Destiny. That's not terrible. Actually, with that Chariot card, that's a pretty nice combo. Okay, we are on Necropolis 1, and we're looking pretty good on time, frankly. Hey, at least that one doesn't even tempt me because I already know it's garbage. Secret room? Okay, well, there's a caveat here, and that is that the shop is safe. Because there can only ever be one mini boss on each floor. There's another caveat here is that I have Steam Sale and 51 cents now, so the store, the, the world is my oyster. Seeing Super Greed here also means that he can't show up anymore on the next floor, which means the next door is also safe. And I have a lot of money. Oh, nice. I'm feeling like the item room is top left. And I don't know why I want to go there. <laughs> Uh, oh, what the? Okay, okay, okay. Do I? Uh, that, that was that was bad. Do I actually go and look for the item room? No, I think I'm gonna move it. Hey, look at that! He's back from the dead. Uh oh.
shouldn't try to use the spear against this guy. But it's so tempting. PJs! So cozy. All right, Curse of the Darkness. Amnesia pill. And the pills are just cream of the crop in this run. Not super concerned about making boss rush here. I have six minutes to make it to mom's foot and beat mom's foot. Like I'm pretty confident in my ability to do that. Oh. So we can also uh, go out of our way to try and find the goodies on this floor, like the item room and the store. And maybe a planetarium, because I did just skip an item room. Did I cry when Lady Probs left? No. I'm a man, I don't cry, no. Um, no, it's okay, I had like six months or so to prepare for that moment. So far it's also okay, like it was weird like yesterday to, uh, yesterday night to go to bed and know that she's not coming back for five weeks, right? But it's also not like she's out of the world, like I'm going to visit her the next weekend anyway. <clears throat> what do we got? Uh, yeah, I want something better. Like, for example, not that. Also not that. Also not that. Also not that. Jacob's ladder. Yeah, that exactly. I was a bit upset when I saw the mulligan p p pass by, but then Jacob's ladder showed up and I was like, oh yeah, that's a suitable replacement. That's a spooky chest. That's a little Gertie. Mm. All right, how about, I, I don't know, even member card would be good with this money situation. Backhead and ladder. All right, pick up ladder. Immediately forget about ladder. Devil card. Another devil card. I'm gonna keep the chariot. Also, I might want to go to that super secret room. Unidentified pill. No, with how this run's been going, that's a tele pill to the error room. I'm not. No, no, no. I'm staying away from here. <laughs> Hey, look, that's the bad trip pill that almost killed the run. That's another double pill, but I'm no, I'm holding, I'm holding strong, man. I am holding strong. Take off ladder, putting in the work. Need to scratch my head before I head into the mom fight. But overall, this should be pretty chill. Like, Spear of Destiny is actually really good in this fight. And it's a lamb run, so we take this one. And then... How does that work with... Chocolate milk. Oh, I'm not finding out today. No, I've been through enough in this run. And I am not interested in doing any science. Sorry, chat. Plus, it just has the chance to be extremely, extremely bad. So I don't want to chance that. All right, spear putting in work. Haunt. Haunt. 
I can... Well, I did not see what that boss was at the top because of Curse of Darkness. I also really like how I can just murder a boss on spawn pretty much every wave. Thanks to the Spear of Destiny. Hey! Gabriel stole my kill, man! Oh boy, can't murder that guy. On spawn. Hello? But he can! With the triple laser! Oh. I'm gonna reform first. Oops. Ah, okay. Bloat! I'm bad. Oh god, death bloat? That's pretty bad. That's one of the worst waves you can get in here, I feel. Death in combination with anything is honestly a huge problem, I feel like, in the boss rush. But then when he combines with an actual chaotic and difficult boss, it just becomes not a great time. Stop pooping at me. Is Husk still alive? Oh, where did that guy come from? Uh-oh. Not a great enemy combo. Dude. Starting to wonder if I maybe needed that dark bum. Is charging again. He ran into the fire poop. An idiot. Ah! Oh. I'm at the bone heart. I need to keep an eye on that because I'm gonna have to rush to a heart if I get hit again. I could also stop using this spear and just play it safe, you know? Oh god, the cage. Immediately proceeds to use the spear some more. Please die. Right, he rolled onto the spikes. Idiot. Erglings. Erglings are immune to fire poop, that is unfortunate. Okay, at least the item we get is good. Took a lot of unnecessary damage in that boss rush. We do still have heartbreak, so I'm not as close to death as it might look. And I have that bone heart, which usually is pretty good at keeping you alive. But yeah, need to be careful. I need to do another grocery run this weekend, but other than that, not much. What does Lilith start with again? She starts with a box of friends. And an incubus. And a blindfold. No oh good. Okay, I heard a challenge room. I recently had an Ipecac Lilithron. That was a mistake. 
Rerolls all pedestal items on the floor does not affect the devil or angel room. Well, we're still gonna see for ourselves. I should check the room. Because who knows? Maybe there's a pedestal in there that we can reroll. Or, you know, a bunch of garbage. I might actually put some money into that guy now that the timer is off. I'm gonna go in with zero expectations and probably some hunger. Ace of spades. I'll do this. Not because these guys are difficult, but because they're annoying. Wait, this is a dead end. Wait, this is the exact wrong way. That's unfortunate. Well, time to uh, feed some money to Mr. Demon Beggar over here. Or Rotten Beggar. Give me flies? He gave me flies. He gave me more flies. I don't want flies. I want bone hearts, my man. I haven't seen a bone heart drop from one of these guys in forever. Do they just not give bone hearts anymore? Like, was that patched? <laughs> hey, Kyo, welcome. <clears throat> Oop, this way. Okay. Can't go in there. I mean, I can, but I shouldn't. Nice. Good to see that I still have it in me to full clear the floors when I absolutely don't want to. Not in the rocks. Not in the rocks. Muha. I'm going to waste your time. Muha. A reptile fair, yo. That's exciting. I don't remember them actually ever giving bone hearts, uh, only rotten hearts. Maybe I'm misremembering. <laughs> I see we have our lord and savior, the ladder. Not just the ladder, but also Abel. It's really only missing uh, Spider Maw to, to, to uh, unify the trinity of items that Chad loves for no reason. Wait, what? Did he stop? The bloat! Well, uh, you know, I'm not so scared of you when you don't have the literal horseman of death as a, as a friend. Not so scary now, huh? Ooh, health. Let's peep inside here and see that we're absolutely not gonna take an incubus. Are we? Nah, man, I need the HP, right? Oh, is that better than two hearts? <laughs> like, that bone heart is incredibly good. <laughs> that bone heart is incredibly good. Ah, 
I'm doing it, but I don't love it. I still have heartbreak too, so once again, I'm not as close to death as you might think. But... Incubus should save me more hearts than he costs. That's why I took him. But you still gotta you still gotta keep in mind the value of that bone heart when you make that decision because that bone heart is worth more than one heart, like way more than one heart. At least statistically, you could also get unlucky and it's not even worth half art, but you know. For the most part, it should definitely be worth more than way more than one. Mm. Might as well. I mean, I can still try to hit the Devil Deal. I can't really take an item anymore from a Devil Deal, but I can still get Krampus. And coal would be really nice. And even Krampus at this point is better than the Potato Peeler as well. Is a Bone Heart worth more than a Heart Container? I'd say so, yeah. It, it also depends on the context. It also depends on where in your HP chain the bone heart is, right? Well, that's definitely better than the potato peeler. Judgment. Judgment. Eh, might as well. Go to Hecko, Snecko. Oh. Look, I love that thing, but this is not the time or the place. Man, I wonder if Snecko is going to be in Slade Aspire 2. How are we feeling about this Slade Aspire 2 announcement chat? Chat and YouTube for that matter. Judgment. How are we feeling? I have a font card, sweet. Feeling hype AF. I'm feeling it's 2024. I mean, accurate. I was really surprised to see it. I didn't expect it. Yeah, same. Did not see that one coming. Uh, wait, that guy paid out? Oh yeah, right. That guy gave me the crooked penny. For some reason, I thought he was still there. I don't care much, and I hate Sneko because it always threw three costs, zero cards at me. It never helped Medic at all. Well, I mean, if you take Sneko, you might not want to take zero cost cards. Ow. No devil deal, it's a Lambron, so we go this way. I just looked up Sneko and it's cute, so I like it. I mean, that's solid, solid logic. Uh, okay, we got a library. We get to go to Satan's personal library. Which is great. Hopefully that library contains more than two books. Might as well go for that. That's a world card that's completely useless with a crystal ball. That's exactly the mini boss I was hoping for. Not the drop I was hoping for. Also, we, we all know I'm not going to take that. Sorry, but there's just no way. Oops. With how this run's been going, no way I'm touching that.
I'd be down for a Satanic Bible and a Book of Revelations right next to each other. Well, I got one out of the two. This could still give me... No, it couldn't give me the Super Secret Room because of the blue map. The question is, are you going to play Slate Aspire 2? Am I going to stream it? Yeah, absolutely. Am I going to stream it as excessively as I did back when STS1 was new? Mm, probably not. But yeah, we're, I mean, we're definitely playing it. What? How did that hit me? Abel! That must have been Abel pushing it back at me. And I didn't see it. Okay, not my greatest performance, but good enough. Oh, of course. Copy's paw, brimstone bombs, black rune. Oh, huge. <sighs> okay, you're going to stay here. Oh, hold up, I just realized... Uh-oh, I made a mistake, I think. Does this room have a second death? Yeah. I think I just made a mistake. I think Guppy's paw, uh, or uh, Dead Cat, and... Ooh, nice. I think Dead Cat and Heartbreak is actually an anti-synergy, right? How many shifts will I use in Slate Aspire 2? I don't know, it depends on how many are in there. And whether Fun Eater is still a thing. Science. I don't need to science this. I, I know for a fact that it's a bad synergy and I made a mistake picking it up. But it's okay. We'll, we'll be fine. Man, I love the part where I don't see the map. That's my favorite part. Of all the floors to become a lost curse. <laughs> Had to be that one, right? Surely I'll get a third soon. Yeah, I know. I don't really see how I would do that, but... I appreciate your optimism. Okay, next chest, black handle. I think the synergy is worse than that, Mr. Jeever. I think it's actually worse, but I don't want to call it out. Maybe, maybe I get to demonstrate it to you. Spoilers, I won't. Push towards me! Ah! My heart. Dude, this guy. Ooh, battery.
Love how I enter this room and immediately attach the spore to the invulnerable guy. Good job, probs. Well done. Ooh, card? Emperor card. Yep, there's the heartbreak. All right, sweet. So the way that would have worked is every time I would die, it prevents death, gives me half a soul heart, and gives me two more broken heart containers. So once I'm actually at the point of death, I will, I would just die nine times over again. Like I'd just be stuck in an infinite loop of death. So dead cat basically would have done nothing. GG.